So what do Azure Blueprints and Legos have in common? Hi, I'm Cherokee Boost, an edutainer at IT Pro TV, and I'm about to tell you what the pros know. Azure Blueprints is currently a free offering on the Azure platform, and it's defined as a declarative way to orchestrate the deployment of various resource templates and other artifacts. Well, what does that mean? If you think about a traditional blueprint, similarly to how those help architects build and design houses and even communities, right? Azure Blueprints do the same thing, but in the cloud platform. So they really provide a way to have uniform builds and maintain within you know, governance standards, regulations, similarly to what you might see in building codes, right? So let me go ahead and explain how that works and why it's different from some of the other features that we already have on our Azure platform. And you might be thinking, well, why do I have a Lego next to me? Yes, this is a giant Lego, uh, but we're going to pretend that this is an ARM template. So Azure Blueprints are composed of currently four different types of artifacts. One being an Azure Resource Manager template or ARM template. Two being a resource group. Three going to be an RBAC role-based access control assignment. And then four, we can have our Azure policy. So those are the four artifacts that we can use to build our Azure Blueprint. So if you couldn't tell, this was an ARM template. Yes, of course it is, right? And if you remember, ARM templates are also a declarative way where I can automate deployments of different resources within my Azure environment. So what kind of resources should we be adding into our ARM template? Well, that's totally up to you and your organization. But for me, let's see what I have. Okay, it looks like I have a couple virtual machines. We'll go ahead and, and script those into our JSON file or our ARM template right here. And by script them in, I mean throw them in. I also have, what are these? Oh, these look like a couple of virtual networks, VNets. I'll go ahead and put those in as well. What else do I have? Okay, looks like I've got some storage accounts. We'll go ahead and throw those in for good measure. And, oh, this is nice. This is even a Kubernetes cluster. We'll go ahead and put that in our JSON file in our ARM template and seal that up. All right, just the way I want it. That's everything I want in this ARM template. But now, in order to utilize the full functionality of Blueprints, I can stack and layer on additional components, such as, well, we said RBAC. So let me go ahead and get some RBAC assignments. Um, this'll work. This is going to be my RBAC assignment for this particular Blueprint. So I'm adding and building modularly to my Blueprint. And you know what else? I also want to add some Azure policy. So let me get my corporate security policy, if you will. And we'll go ahead and add that also. You know what, I'm pretty pleased with this particular blueprint. How does it look to you? All right, we've got all the components we need here to deploy and create resources at scale in a very governed way. But the beauty of blueprints is the reusability of these individual components. So hear me out. Here, I have another ARM template. It's already filled with my resources and written just the way I wanted, okay? I also have an additional ARM, we have our, our particular, excuse me, RBAC policies or RBAC assignments. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those on here as well. But you know what? I want this blueprint, maybe this blueprint can be applied at a different scope within my tenant. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this blueprint to a different subscription within my tenant. And I'm going to reuse my corporate policy because my corporate policy applies to, well, my entire corporation or organization. So I can take the work that I've already done here with my Azure policy and I can just reuse that right over here as part of my new blueprint. So you can see how this particular blueprint helps save me time and I can deploy law at scale quickly and efficiently without reinventing the wheel. So hopefully that sheds some light. And if you want to learn more about Azure Blueprints or other Azure features, visit itpro.tv. I'm Cherokee Boos, and now you know what the pros know.